The True Story of the Three Little Pigs by John Shitska. This is the real story. Way back in Once Upon a Time Time, I was making a birthday cake for my dear old granny. I had a terrible sneezing cold. I ran out of sugar. So I walked down the street to ask my neighbor for a cup of sugar. Now, this neighbor was a pig, and he wasn't too bright either. He had built his whole house out of straw. Can you believe it? I mean, who in his right mind would build a house out of straw? So of course, the minute I knocked on the door, it fell right in. I didn't want to just walk into someone else's house, so I called, Little pig, little pig, are you in? No answer. I was just about to go home without the cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. That's when my nose started to itch. I felt the sneeze coming on. Well, I huffed and I snuffed my teeth. A great sneeze. And you know what? The whole darn straw house fell down. And right in the middle of the pile of straw was the first little pig. Dead this a dawn. good ham dinner line than the straw, so I ate it up. Think of it as a big cheeseburger just lying there. I was feeling a little better, but I still didn't have the cup of sugar, so I went to the next neighbor's house. This was the first little pig's brother. He was a little smaller, but not much. He had built his house of sticks. I rang the bell on the stick house. Nobody answered. I called, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? He yelled back, go away, wolf, you can't come in. I'm shaving the hairs on my chinny chin chin. I just grabbed the doorknob when I felt another sneeze coming on. I huffed and I snuffed and I tried to cover my mouth, but I sneezed. A great sneeze. And you're not going to believe this, but the guy's house fell down just like his brother's. When the dust cleared, there was the second little pig. Dead as a doornail. Wolf's